I'm just on heightened alert. <laughs> okay, like you know? you're not going to take any chances. You're not going skydiving that day. No, right. no. Yeah. I have had black cats my whole life, so I live for Friday the 13th. Oh. I'm like, it is their Oscar day. It's like, it's our day. <laughs> and your dress for Halloween. You Lovely. Know it. Orange pumpkin. pumpkin. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. Thanks. A space deeper. Are striking against three of the largest American automakers. How this will affect our economy. A fearless thief steals a car from a Hollywood dealership, sparking a wild chase. We're live at the scene of where it all started. Another dose of morning clouds, but coming up, another dose of afternoon sunshine. How will those temperatures respond today and through the weekend? I'll update your forecast. And it's Friday, which means it's time for our SoCal Spotlight. We are taking you to the Ventura County city of Thousand Oaks. <laughs> this is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. You're watching KCAL News Mornings at 9. Today is Friday, September 15th. Taking a beautiful live look outside. It kind of looks like a postcard out mm -hmm. there in Southern California. I'm Rudy Shabazz. It sure does. And I'm Rachel Kim in for Jamie Yukis. Thank you so much for joining us here. Of course, Paul Diano, Kalina Estrino is here with your next Hi. weather and traffic. And uh, it is the weekend. Paul, we are expecting some great weather. Well, expect away. All right. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, I like that picture there because you got to get up to about 6,000 feet to look down on the clouds. Marine layer is pretty thick right now. A little right deceptive, now. maybe. Yeah, I know, right? It's so really beautiful pretty. and sunny if you're on the top of a mountain <laughs> um, for us living below the clouds, which is most of us right now. We're stuck with the clouds for a couple more hours. Let's take a look outside and show you that beautiful picture once again. Yeah, that's, we're about 6,000 feet in elevation, but it's kind of cool to see that marine layer banked up against the clouds. So even in the foothills, you are cloudy this morning. The only exception is the Antelope Valley. Van Nuys, certainly under the cloud cover in the San Fernando Valley, where it's currently 66 degrees. We are 64 in Burbank, 61 in Claremont, 64 in Riverside, 68 Laguna Beach. Everyone's cloudy. Santa Ana already 70. Downtown Los Angeles is close and Ojai 60 degrees. So your weather headlines cloudy and also drizzly. If you're going to be out and about and driving this morning for the next hour or so and driving more than 20 miles per hour, good luck on the highways with that. But you may need the windshield wipers because of that drizzle. It's not raining, but it's kind of drippy out there. Uh, it will be a sunny afternoon. It will be pleasant and cooler, and it is the last summer weekend. By next Saturday, it's fall. Next Friday night, we transition from summer to fall. Inland Empire kind of feels like fall when it's only 76 at lunchtime. It'll be sunny by then. Highs today, Riverside 89, LAX though cooler 72, tying you with Malibu, Santa Clarita 87, and with all that sunshine, Palmdale, you hit 95 degrees. Cooler than average weather continues, but for how long? We'll talk about that coming up right now. Let's talk about traffic. A lot of issues this morning. Mm -hmm. Here's Kalina. Yeah, we really have had a lot of issues. Um, this has been a consistent problem spot for our morning commute. Unfortunately, it is a deadly crash. So the Sigler has been issued for the past couple of hours. The off ramp has been blocked off and the backup continues to build off the 105. Five. It's a 36 minute commute right now, and you can also see delays northbound out of Long Beach as well. We do have this new problem 91 West at Bellflower left lane is blocked off there. Overall look at LA as a whole. Some areas are improving. That includes the 210, 10 and 60, but we still have heavy delays on the 110 North and also on the 10 through mid city. Here's a look at the Inland Empire. The Cajon Pass looks great. The 91 has cleared up, but the 10 is still a problem spot. This is all because of a jackknifed big rig eastbound 10 at Central two lanes along with the off ramp blocked off. Ruta Bay, back to you. Kalina, thank you. A wild and dangerous police pursuit stretched from Hollywood all the way to Beverly Hills. Yeah, a man broke into one dealership, took off in a stolen car, and tried to do it again across town. KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom is live in Hollywood with how this all ended. It's crazy, Cara. It is. We understand Beverly Hills PD. They may release a little more information on their part of the investigation later today. We saw LAPD investigators when we got here this morning take a look. They were documenting this. This is where it all started. And you can see it's being taped off right now, but the door is completely gone. It was shattered last night. Uh, and they say the suspect stole a car, rammed it through two gates, and then triggered a pursuit. Take a look.